The Miami Hurricanes dominated the North Carolina Tar Heels 47-20 in a ACC conference matchup and the homecoming game for the Miami Hurricanes on Saturday. This game was important. It showed that after the Georgia Tech game, the Hurricanes really did have a turning point. They turned things around and are just really motivated to be the team that everybody thinks they can be. Uh, the Hurricanes are almost running on all cylinders. They are just learning and growing and definitely on an upward progression from where they were at the beginning of the season. This game was Duke Johnson, Duke Johnson, Duke Johnson. The running back finished with 177 yards and two touchdowns. He is now the Hurricanes' second all-time leading rusher. Think of all the names that have come through this program, and Duke Johnson is number two. He now has 3,080 career rushing yards, so two more games left in the season, and he's a junior, so we might have one more season of Duke Johnson to witness. Joe Yearby also had 104 yards, so definitely just helped on the running game, and he's continuing to grow and contribute to this offense. Brad Kaya was 11 of 17 for 189 yards and three touchdowns, another solid performance from him. Two of those touchdowns were to Clive Walford. That is Clive's uh, career high two touchdowns. He also had a season high 89 yards. And we've also learned that he's becoming more of a vocal leader. He told his offense play every game like it's the ACC title game. So he's definitely becoming more of a leader and just continuing to have a dominant presence on this offense. Miami's first drive, they marched down the field 87, 84 yards. The time took 7 minutes and 10 seconds. This was their longest drive of the season and it ended in a Duke Johnson one yard touchdown. This was important for the Hurricanes just to give the defense some rest. Denzel Perryman said that, that he is feeling fresh and the defense is feeling fresh. This is really important. And uh, just the balance of offense and defense, how offensive production helps the defense just do their job. Denzel said they shoot for three and outs. They shoot for turnovers so that the offense can get back on the field and keep doing their things. The defense had a season high six sacks. This is really important to get to the quarterback to rattle this UNC offense that is very explosive. Um, Denzel had one of those sacks, Tyreek McCord had another one, he also had a fumble recovery, and Deion Bush had a sack and an interception. Deion Bush had a lot of little gems to say after the game. Um, he just said the, the losses were really humbling and leaders have stepped up and one of the key things he said was that practice habits are showing on the field. So that's really important. Coach Golden also just pointed out the importance of practice. So don't tell Allen Iverson, but practice is really important for this team. They're continuing to grow, continuing to mature, and that's really coming to fruition on the field on game day. Um, overall, solid another solid performance for the Hurricanes. Gus Edwards did injure his ankle. We're hearing it's an ankle injury early in the game, but um, it sounds like he'll be fine. We're looking forward to his return. The Hurricanes, the Hurricanes are now bowl eligible. Uh, this is the fourth time under Coach Al Golden. He's become bowl eligible in each of his four seasons. The NCAA investigations did um, prevent them from going to a bowl in his first two seasons, but uh, this will be his second chance at a postseason. So now the Hurricanes have a bye week. This will be good to get them rest up. The O-line especially is hurting. Uh, from injuries, but it'll be good to get some more people some practice reps, some, some rest time. And then after that, I think everybody knows, but it's Florida State Week. The Seminoles come down to, Coral, to Sun Life Stadium. It's going to be packed. The atmosphere is going to be hyped. Uh, there was mixed reactions from the players. Duke Johnson was very calm. It's just another game, but the other players Denzel was hyped. He said playing Jameis Winston is fun. Um, so there's just different different reactions so far, but we'll keep you updated on how the team's preparing and what you can expect against Florida State. All right. Thanks, guys.